Former Wisconsin Supreme Court Justice Refuses to Disclose Names of Madison, Wisconsin. AP. One of three former Wisconsin Supreme Court justices asked to review possible impeachment of a current justice refused to tell a judge Friday who else was looking into that question. Time equals 400 Ms. Greater than former Justice David Prosser called a lawsuit alleging violations of the state open meetings law. Frivolous. Saying those looking into impeachment met once but are operating independently and not as a governmental body subject to the law. Prosser and the attorney for Republican Assembly Speaker. Robin Voss both refused to tell the judge during Friday's hearing who else was tabbed by Voss to review impeachment. Voss is looking into possible impeachment of Liberal Justice Janet Protasevich if she does not recuse herself from a pair of redistricting lawsuits. The liberal watchdog group American Oversight sued Monday, alleging the group of justices was violating the state open meetings law by not letting the public attend its meetings. Prosser is the only former justice to say publicly that he is among the group. Prosser indicated during the hearing before Dane County Circuit Judge Frank Remington that three former justices met at least once. Time equals 400 Ms. Greater than three people had lunch together. Prosser said. We had lunch together because we didn't know what we were really supposed to do. If other people are going to have input, it's going to be their input, not my input. I think this is an absolutely frivolous case. File. Wisconsin's Republican. Assembly Speaker Robin Voss talks to reporters at the state capitol, February 15, 2022, in Madison, Wisconsin. Former Justice David Prosser called a lawsuit alleging violations of the state open meetings law. Frivolous, Friday, September 29, 2023 saying those looking into impeachment met once but are operating independently and not as a governmental body subject to the law. AP Photo. Andy Manis. File. Time equals. 400 Ms. Greater than when asked directly by the judge if he would name who the other two former justices were, Prosser said, no. Likewise, boss attorney Matthew Fernholz said he would not disclose their names without first consulting with boss. Boss has repeatedly declined to name who he asked, only saying he tabbed three former justices to look into impeachment. Time equals 400 Ms. Greater than none of the eight other living former justices, six of whom are conservatives, have said they are a part of the review. The most recently retired justice, Conservative Patience Roggensack, hung up when contacted by the Associated Press to ask if she was on the panel. The judge asked Prosser if the group intended to meet again. The people that I had lunch with had the same view of what we might say and we would do it individually, Prosser said. He said the group was not producing a formal report and Boss never told him he was creating a panel. The word, panel, never came up. Prosser said. Certainly we were not ordered to do anything. Dot dot dot. This is not a governmental body by any stretch of the imagination. Boss himself called it a panel when he announced its formation September 13. I am asking a panel of former members of the Wisconsin Supreme Court to review and advise what the criteria are for impeachment. Boss said on Wisson AM. Boss said he was asking the group to come back with an analysis to say whether or not impeachment is possible and how it should occur. Prosser and Fernholz on Friday both asserted that the former justices were like any other constituent that a public official may meet with to gather advice. That's done all the time, Prosser said. That is not something that is going to require notices and people coming and listening to everything that's happening. That's just not realistic at all. Fernholz took it a step further, saying, the secret panel does not exist. American Oversight had asked the judge to order the group not to meet. But Judge Remington said he can't consider the case until after the district attorney has 20 days to investigate American Oversight's complaint. That deadline is October 9. Remington said another hearing for October 19. It could be very well, Justice Prosser, that this is not a committee that is not subject to public meetings law, Remington said. We just don't know because the facts are uncertain. Dane County District Attorney Ismail Ozan said in court Friday that it appeared to him the group may be violating the open meetings law, calling it 
Astonishing. If nothing else they should be meeting in public, Ozan said. But he said his investigation hasn't gotten far, in part, because he doesn't know who the other former justices working on the issue are. Time equals. 400 Ms. Greater than American Oversight Attorney Krista Westerberg said the group of justices is subject to the open meetings law because Voss created it to advise him. It has a defined membership and he asked that it report back to him with recommendations. We don't have secret panels in Wisconsin, she said. The work of government isn't secret. I don't think this is a very heavy lift. Dot dot dot. It just boggles my mind that all of this can be done in secret. Protasiewicz's installment in August flipped the high court to liberal control for the first time in 15 years. Boss has called for her to recuse herself in the redistricting cases because of comments she made on the campaign trail calling the states heavily gerrymandered, GOP-drawn electoral maps, unfair, and rigged, as well as the nearly $10 million she accepted from the Wisconsin Democratic Party. Protasevich has yet to decide whether she will recuse herself from the cases. The court has also yet to decide whether it will take up the lawsuits. File. Wisconsin Supreme Court Justice Janet Protasevich attends her first hearing as a justice, September 7, 2023, in Madison, Wisconsin. Former Justice David Prosser called a lawsuit alleging violations of the state open meetings law. Frivolous, Friday, September 29 saying those looking into impeachment met once but are operating independently and not as a governmental body subject to the law. AP Photo. Maury Gash. File.